Okay, good morning, you know. So we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at composite area part two, more difficult. We're going to be looking at three problems. Start with this one here. Now this is a combination of three different shapes, to be precise. We've got a sector, rectangle, and a quadrant, or which we call a quarter of a circle. Okay. So we start with finding the area of the sector. Now, remember, a recap from last lesson, the previous lesson up before that. The sector is part of a circle. So out of 360, we have 30 degrees. Okay? The radii is 5. So pi times 5 squared times. Out of 360, we have 30 degrees. We're going to find that answer in two decimal places. Pi times 5 squared times 30 over 360, 6.54 centimetres squared. Okay. Now, big shape is a rectangle. Length times breadth. Length is 10 times. This is the breadth here. That's the breadth here as well. If that's 5, that's going to be 5 as well. 10 times 5, which is 50 centimetres squared. The quadrant now. Quarter of a circle or quadrant is going to equal pi times 5 squared. Remember, this is the radius of this circle, quarter circle. If you don't remember, make sure you go back to the area of sectors um, section video to have a to have a recap okay times now we can do it two ways actually I won't put that times yet either out of 360 we know 90 degrees we can do times 90 over 360 like this which will give me a quarter or the quick method is realizing it's a quarter divided by four like we did before Okay. Two decimal places if possible. Pi times 5 squared divided by 4. 19 plus 6 degree. Okay. Now, total area. Add them all together. We add that plus that plus that. Okay, so I'll take my calculator out. 6.54 plus 50 plus 19.63. 76.17 centimeters squared. Okay, or centimeters squared. And my bad should be centimeters squared here as well. Okay. Almost recess. So that's that. Okay, so once again, we're putting basic shapes together, we find the area. Total area by adding individual areas together. Now what happens is this, when we looked at the L-shaped areas, our first composite shape lesson, we completed the shape because there were areas that were removed. Now when, it's just a bit easier, when there are areas that are removed or there's missing parts of the shape, it's better to complete the shape and the subtract what was missing. Okay, that leads us to this example here. There are no units, there's no specific unit. There's no centimetres, metres, millimetres, or kilometres. So we're going to assume the units are units. So what I'm going to do is this. I can divide this shape up in all sorts, make my life a bit more difficult. Or I can notice there's something missing here. There's something missing here and there's something missing here. Complete the shape. I'll do that with red. There you go. There's red. Dotted lines. I'm going to use to complete the shape. Now I'm just going to actually to make it a bit easier, I'm just going to make it a bit more easier to understand. If I complete the shape, I get a rectangle. So my first step is to find the area of the rectangle. Length times breadth. I don't have the length, it's missing. But I do have the breadth, which is 15. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to find this length here. I use my information on the other side. Or 
plus something, plus something, plus 3.6, plus 4, all of that is going to give me this side, opposite side here. So whatever the length here, it's going to be the same on the opposite end, because that's the property of a rectangle. That's 3.6, that has a 1 dash, 1 dash, 1 dash, 1 dash. This all means it's all 3.6 here. Okay, so what is this? 4 plus 3.6, if that's 6, that there is going to be 6 as well. 3.6 and that's 4 over here, just to make it a bit more clearer. Okay, so add everything together. going to be 4 plus 3.6 plus 6 plus 3.6 plus 4. When you do do that in your calculator or you can do mental computation, 3.6 plus 3, okay, 4 plus 3.6 plus 6 plus 3.6 plus 4, 21.2. This is going to be 21.2. Okay, 21.2 times 15. Times 15, 318 units squared. Okay, so once again, to find this length, I added that plus that plus that plus that plus that there. Okay, that's six because that is six. Opposite sides are exactly the same. Area, the cutout. We have a few parts that are cut out. This, this, this. I'm going to start with this end here. It's a triangle. Looks like a right angle triangle to me. The base is 4. We need to find this height. We need to find this height here as well because they're exactly the same. Now keep one thing in mind. I'm not going to do it as part of my working out, but just as an extension conversation. A quadrilateral is when you put two triangles together. Now, if I put this right angle triangle together with that, so if I did something like that, that's my right angle triangle, and I put the other right angle triangle, I'm going to get a quadrilateral, a rectangle in this case, a little rectangle. To find the area, length times breadth. Okay? But to keep things simple, I'm going to break, break it down. Out of 15, we know 8.5. If that's 8.5, that's 8.5. So 15 minus 8.5 is going to give me 6.5. So that there is 6.5. If that's 6.5, that's 6.5. Okay? So 6.5 times 4 divided by 2. Plus, the same thing goes here. 6.5 times 4 divided by 2. Plus. So basically, I'm adding everything that's been cut out. And now subtract at the end. This rectangle here, 6 times 3.6. Okay. Let's see, all together, how much did we cut out? 6.5 times 4 divided by 2 times 2 plus 6, point, 6 times 3.6. 47.6. Zero units squared. Now, the area left over is 318 minus 47.6. 270.4 units squared. That's it, that's the area. Okay, so my first step was to complete the whole shape. Find the area of the complete shape, in this case it was a rectangle. And then I found out altogether how much did I cut out, how much was missing. And then I subtracted it. Okay, I'll write this a bit more clearer. I wrote 318 minus 47.6. And of course, you can if you want, instead of doing this method, you can obviously cut it into individual shapes. Find the area of this trapezium, that, this rectangle, add everything together instead of subtraction. It's up to you. Okay? Look at a, one last example because, once again guys, various examples of this, you could do, spend a whole week on this, but as long as our basic understanding is clear, we won't have an issue with difficult problems. So the last one is going to be 
this. So, go up. We're going to find the area of all that. All of this. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is this. It looks like a circle, but it's not a full circle. Because for, for it to be a full circle, I would have had to do that. Okay? So what we're going to do is this. Now, even if I did this, I don't really know if it's a semicircle. I mean, it is a semicircle. I'll take that back. But I will need the diameter. And I, to find the diameter, I don't know how to find the diameter. This, this is not given, this is unknown. Okay, now of course we can find the diameter as an extension. We use Pythagoras system to calculate this. Okay, but I'm not going to do this. I'm going to be consistent with my calculations. Right, what we need to understand is this. There are two shapes that are put together. We've got a right angle triangle. I'm just going to draw this up here just to make it a bit easier. Six centimeters. Now if I was to rotate it, I'll get something like this. Okay. Base times height. Okay. Now, then we're left with this part. This part is actually a sector. It's actually a sector. Radii is six. Okay. Now my only problem is I don't have this inside angle. This inside angle is missing. We don't know what part of the circle we have. However, that's ninety. So full revolution is three sixty. Out of three sixty, I know ninety. My missing part is two seventy. Three sixty minus ninety will give you two seventy. So what I'm going to do is this: I'm going to find the area of this sector plus the area of this. That will give my total area. So I'll start with this area triangle. Six times six divided by two. Six times six is thirty-six. Half of that is eight centimeters squared. Now the area of this sector. Is going to be pi times 6 squared times. I don't have a whole circle. What part of a whole circle do I have? What fraction, what part of 360 do I have? I have 270. Okay. We're going to calculate two decimal places. Eighty-four point eight two. centimeters squared. That's a sector. Okay, I'm just going to rub this part out. Okay. So area total is going to be area of the triangle plus area of our sector. Now if you still are confused on how these calculations occur, please refer to my area of sectors video for a quick recap. And when we do that, what are we going to get? We're going to get 0.82 meters, centimeters squared. That's 12, 8, 9, 10. 102.82 centimeters squared. Okay. Just going to double check that with the calculator. And 102.82 meters squared. Okay. So that's the end of this figure. Okay. Now keep one thing in mind, guys. It doesn't matter if it's a difficult composite figure. It all comes out of your basic understanding. Okay, if there are missing parts, complete the shape, subtract what was what was missing. If it's a complete shape already, when there's no missing parts, find individual areas, add it together. Okay, make sure you guys stay safe. If you have any questions, shoot me a message on Canvas. I'll try my best to help you guys out. Keep it real, keep it 100%. I'll see you guys soon.
Okay, keep 1.5 meters distance apart. Okay, signing out, Mr. Singh.